What's up everyone, welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna to be going over some changes that Google Ads just announced for the search terms report where they're gonna be giving advertisers less data. So I saw this notification in my account when I signed in this morning, changes to the search terms report, and they said we are updating the search terms report to only include terms that were searched by a significant number of users. As a result, you may see fewer terms in your report going forward. Now, I clicked on learn more to see if there's any additional information, but really it's just a couple of sentences on their page about the search terms report. So their help page, all it's saying is starting September 2020, the search terms report only includes terms that a significant number of users search for. So the assumption right off the bat is that advertisers are now getting less data. So that's exactly what Google Ads is telling us is that things people don't search for often, we're not gonna be able to see that data to exclude those keywords from our campaigns because as advertisers, we know how important negative keywords are. Now, I, just, I decided to kind of look around and see if there's any additional information as to why Google started doing this. And I found this really good article on searchengineland.com by Ginny Marvin, and they're citing privacy. So as I scroll down, it looks like Google gave Search Engine Land a statement, and it says, in order to maintain our standards of privacy and strengthen our protections around user data, we have made changes to our search terms report to only include terms that a significant number of users search for. We're continuing to invest in new and efficient ways to share insights that enable advertisers to make critical business decisions. So basically my initial thoughts on this are, that Google Ads really shouldn't limit any of the data that advertisers are currently using to optimize their campaigns. They already have close keyword variants, so if you go to just the keyword matching page, so I'm on the keyword match type summaries page for Google Ads, and with broad match, you have close variations, keep coming down, broad match modifier, close variations, close variations, phrase match, again, multiple times they show close variations here, close variations, and the same thing with exact match. So we're already dealing with that as advertisers. They shouldn't really get rid of some of the data that we're using to make sure that we're driving conversions for our own businesses and for our clients. Now, anytime that I hear there's gonna be less data, it's gonna equal more wasted ad spend. So it's just another tool that advertisers had to make sure that their campaigns are as optimized as possible, especially campaigns that are driving thousands upon thousands of clicks every month or even every single week or day in some cases. It's gonna really hurt advertisers in competitive industries Industries that are paying costs per clicks of 10, 15, even upwards of $20, because sometimes a few single words could save you a lot of money in the long run, and it's gonna help you drive more business as well when you're getting rid of words that don't drive conversions. And to me, if privacy is the main concern, then I think you should still allow advertisers to export their search terms along with statistics, whether it's on a weekly basis or a monthly basis, so advertisers can at least see, hey, here are the search terms that triggered your ads, and here's the performance for those search terms. Because even one single word in a search term could give you ideas for three or four or five different negative keywords, where you look for synonyms and you look for the other things that people are searching. Now, let's just take a quick look at maybe some of the information we might lose. Now it's pretty vague for exactly what we're not going to see in the search terms report, but if I open up my Google ads account and this is my campaign that I use for all my tutorials, my farmhouse goals conversion search campaign, it's the one I built in my Google ads tutorial, but let's just say I click on my campaign and we look at the search terms report. So we're looking at the last 14 days. So you could see from August 19th to September 1st, we're going to go to keywords and we're going to go to search terms. So we can see all those search terms and I already put a filter here for one impression. So you're gonna see all of these different keywords that only drove, drove one impression, sometimes not even a click. So let's scroll to the bottom, let's see how much data they give us. So right here is 164 different searches that only got one impression. So to me, one of the, my quick assumptions is that advertisers are soon gonna be no longer able to see this data. So that means if I see something right here, www.countrycurtains.com. So someone's clearly trying to just type in a website, they end up clicking on my advertisement and it costs me money. So what I can do is exclude this keyword. Now, if I'm not able to see a keyword like that, then I'm never gonna exclude it. because I'm never gonna see that someone's doing this, even if it's once a month or once every couple of weeks, I wanna exclude these keywords because I wanna make sure that I'm not wasting money when people are looking for specific brands or looking for something that I simply don't carry on my website. Okay, so I scrolled up a little bit more. You're seeing that Farmhouse Curtains drives a lot of my overall clicks and my impressions for this campaign. So you can see right here, people are looking for what stores in a specific area carry country curtains, where to buy country curtains, 
We have Joanna Gaines in here. Maybe I don't want any brand names. Vicky's Country Curtains. So there's just all these different keywords that end up showing here with one impression where people have one click. And a lot of times, if you're an advertiser, and especially if you're dealing in really competitive industries, you want to make sure you're getting rid of anything that wastes your budget. Because any small thing, if I don't carry park design, living room, country curtains, then I want to make sure that I'm excluding that search term from my campaign because it's simply not relevant. So you can see right here, this is 164 total impressions over the last two weeks that I could completely get rid of if I want to add these as negative keywords that in the future, starting this month, September 2020, I might not have access to that data. So to me, I don't think Google should really go about getting rid of any data. If we come over here and we're just looking at the Google Ads help page about the search terms report, I, I just think they should allow you to still download all of the data and you should still have access to that data and just because google ads says a search isn't significant it doesn't mean that an advertiser or a client or a business doesn't think that that search term is significant as well so truthfully i disagree with the move i think there should be ways around it even if you're citing privacy as the main concern allow advertisers to download all this data in a report without having any clicks tied back to a specific time or a specific ip address because if you're worried about business is using that data to their advantage to understand which IP addresses are making certain searches. I think advertisers should still have access to the overall data without exposing anyone's privacy. So if you have any questions about this, please leave them in the comment section. This was just announced today. So these are really just my initial thoughts to it. We'll see how it impacts our overall campaigns. But to me with the close variance expansion and with this, you're just seeing advertisers lose control over some of the different aspects of Google ads that we've become so comfortable with using. So thanks for watching my video today and make sure you subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel.